I'm just doing a sound check right now. Howie. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Cam here, coming at you with an episode of Wednesday Onesies. This show, uh, and that's when we take one beer and one beer only, and we give it a couple sip of and we just kind of look at it a little more in depth. Slam it. As you see, I have uh, a seat right here, and it doesn't have anybody in it, but we're going to get somebody in it right now. I'd like to welcome Kyle. <laughs> Uh, you probably see Kyle on our previous episode on 2G2 Pack where we uh, went over a couple of brewskis. And that was fun. Check it out. But um, So he's back again. I live in Rochester, but I'm from Plattsburgh. And I'm in Plattsburgh again. So back in the burg. Feels good. Just got here actually like three hours ago. So nice little five hour drive. You know, I'm just going to side of the road. <laughs> Eight times. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't. I mean, I did it. I, I did it. I did it. But anyway, let's get started here. So, oh, yeah. uh, uh, you've been on uh, Choose Two Back before. We're going to do one today, and we're just going to take a peek at it. So, I hope you brought your good lips. Looks <laughs> like you did. Uh, we look good. Uh, was this planned? Uh, I don't know what happened here. Uh, as soon as I arrived, I was like, no choice. Might as well be. He's my brother. Uh, we're about a year apart. You're in some change. Both in their dirty 30s right now. Dirty 30s, man. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. Let's get to our beers. You want to just whip them out right now? Yeah. All right. So uh, uh, the beer today, you're going to be like, that's what the fuck. These douchebags are doing this again. But that, don't get me wrong. You're going to just you now check it out. Okay. So we today crushing it. Genesee. Bach beer. Black beer uh, from Genesee. A seasonal beer. Uh, mm. It comes out during the springtime. It's got a 5.2% alcohol content and a 10 IBU. Um, it's a German beer. And uh, uh, I've had it before. I had it last year. It's pretty good. See, it's got a goat on it. Whoops. Uh, beers and uh, goats in the springtime. Just don't mix beers and goats in the wrong way, if you know what I mean. Bang, damn it. That gives me a good idea. Uh, Bach uh, means goat in German, so that's why they call it a Bach beer. So, Johann German beer. Sebastian Goat. <laughs> Wait, Johann Sebastian Bach. Wait a minute. Is he German? Um, Secretly telling everybody he was the greatest of all time, Bach. But he was a goat. Every spring, Genesee comes out with this beer, and they've been doing that since 1951. So that's a long time. To help you think about it, 1951 was uh, the year of the Great Flood, also the Korean War, and when Kurt Russell was born. So that's uh, very, very good. <laughs> Do you want to just crack these, crack these? Let's crack these fat cans open. Yeah. Crack, crack. We, we match uh, everything. Let's give it a whiff first. Hey, hey, let's I almost forgot to check if we were recording. We are recording. I was just saying. Yeah, so, dude, <laughs> dude, 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 there was one time, I'll show you in the, another clip, but uh, it was a Saturday six pack, fucking didn't record it. Oh boy, <laughs> it's, it's a good brewing company. Get off the stage. Fuck. I even mentioned it in another episode because I'm so butthurt about it. In a, in a Saturday, I know it was a two two pack cider episode, or I thought it wasn't recorded. Fuck. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> anyway, let's give it a whiff. Let's nail this. What do you think? 
has a pine kind of smell. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Very light. It has like it has like a beer smell to it as well. I did get like an like you're outside kind yeah. of smell to it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Am I outside? I have, I have 19 of these, and you'll think you're outside. <laughs> there we go. You think you're in the bathroom? <laughs> right. You're definitely sleeping. I do get the pine. I do, and it does kind of have like I don't want to be a dick or anything, but it kind of has that kind of. That, what that's that beer smell okay. that I was gonna. That I was trying to. I didn't know how to smell it. Like almost like it has like it has like a, a beer smell to it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. exactly. I know it's what like you just, mean. Just a. It's like a regular, regular beer. beer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wednesday onesies was filmed in front of a live studio audience. Uh, a lot of beers smell like beer. Some beers smell like other beers. You know, beers, beers, beers. Yeah, beers. Sip it out of a can and we'll pour it in a glass after. Let's see how it tastes right. out of a can. Let's cheers. Cheers to Plattsburgh or something. Oh, yeah. Different, huh? Yeah. 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 It's like heavier than a normal beer. Alcohol wise, 5.2. That's not too bad. That's no, not actually at all. very average, very low. It's time for the fun fact of the day. Actually, a Bach beer is a fermented lager. It mm -hmm. actually takes longer to make. The taste is where it's at right now. I mean, these aren't too piss warm or anything. I mean, mm -hmm. we just pulled no. them out of the fridge. It's literally like five degrees outside, and they were in the car the entire way here. Um, yeah, this morning yeah. was a bit of a tussle. Actually, it was snowing. Uh, near Rochester, and I was like, shit, I think I made a mistake. And I was like, should I turn around? I'm like, no, nope, and I made it. Boom. I didn't pass out and I made it. It's something like this, like, I, I don't know if it just, with taste, is this is this rice? That, Almost like a Bud Light. Right? Yeah, that's you know? that's the kind of taste. Deeper Bud Light, I guess. It might be rice, it might be something else, <laughs> yeah. but box 16th century, that's when the box came out. So, um, let's pour these, uh, these guys in a cup. Just uh, hope I don't spill it like I did last time. Oh my god, I'm getting it spilled on my pants. Uh, well, box are better served in tulip glassware. Two so you can put that in your pocket and take it home with you. <laughs> don't forget to take that little bit. So you can have a beard mustache when you get pulled over. You know what I'm yeah. Don't drink and drive, ever. I mean, I say don't smoke crack and drive, but if you're smoking crack, you probably don't have a car. <laughs> so let's smell it from this one. Regular beer. <laughs> I'm getting just regular beer. Um, definitely hops, obviously. Yeah. Uh, hops and... It smells like it's going to be better. It almost smelled worse than the can. I don't yeah. know. Uh, but now it smells yeah. better. It kind of aerates it up a little bit. Well, what we did was smell it at first, and then we tasted it. Mm -hmm. Our sensitivity was already re already ready for it. Yeah. And boom, it slid right in. Um, a little fact about box. I was looking at other box, and Sam Adams has a box. It's called a, a triple box. And it's 18% alcohol content. That's basically a liquor. Okay, so. Well, think think outside, outside the box. <laughs> oh my god, get it, get it. Okay, so cheers to. Um, this is my first day in Plattsburgh. Let's give it a tasty taste. A lot cleaner. Yeah, definitely I, out I, of the glass. I is got much it. better. It still has that cheap taste. And what I said before, I was like Genesee craft beer. You could see more information about Genesee in the Wednesday Wednesdays of their Oktoberfest that they had. Genesee's really old. So in 1951, when they came out with this, they were out for a long time already. They only used to have like Twelve. Horse, which was their first beer. Their regular, their light, and their cream ale is another old one. And then now nowadays, they come out with, I can't wait, the summer beer. It's going to be ruby red. Oh, it's so fucking good. I've never had a better grapefruit beer than hmm. Ruby Red from Tennessee. Yeah. Usually it's either like too much like beer or too much like this. Right. It tastes like beer, but ocean spray out of the vending machine. I don't know. Ooh. You remember like Clinton Community College, you go in there, you fucking get the vending machine, ocean spray. You have to shake it because it's a fucking Play-Doh on the bottom pretty much. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to tasty. Um, it was hot. It was hot. 
I'd, I'd say it's just going to be like if you, I mean, if you like Budweiser or anything like that, it's very similar to it. It has a kind of like that same taste, a little deeper taste, which is actually not too bad. Yeah. It's, oh, making a special appearance, Cliff. Hey, buddy. So what do you say we slam these puppies and we'll get on with our day? Cheers. Cheers. Hit it. Oh. Chuggability, what do you think? Smooth. Yeah, it's actually it's really nice. Not too heavy. It was like velvet. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, that was really good. Uh, <laughs> uh, anything else before we head out and skedaddle? Where the fuck did you get this? Warm. So did I. <laughs> Wait, is it Faded Glory? Yeah. No, it's not. It's not. Oh. Oh, it's George. 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 Georgie. George. George Glass. George. Thank you so much for coming out and having a beer with us. Beats the beer. Yeah. And now it's time for another blooper reel. It's like, write a song in ba minor. With Yo- Johann Sebastian Goat. <laughs> Johann Sebastian Goat wrote a song in ba minor. <laughs> Uh, visit Kyle at Kyle wants to see uh, on Twitter. Uh, hit him up, Kyle underscore Jay Z on Twitter as well. Thanks again, buddy. And we'll see you next time. Absolutely. Bye. Bye. <laughs>